Hello, this is Daniel Watrous. In this video, we're going to talk about the animation settings for the opt-in crusher in WordPress. Uh, right off the bat, you'll notice there are three settings. And when set to uh, their defaults, here, let's just go back here, set those to, to roughly their defaults, um, we, we'll see how the animation looks. Now, the other thing is, in order to test this, you'll want to set the show logged in to yes. We click update and that way even though you're logged in you'll still see it uh, scroll up uh, so let's go ahead and refresh over here okay and there it comes up now you'll notice there was a bit of a delay in fact there were five seconds of delay so let's come over here and you'll notice that the opt-in settings you have the option of setting a delay before it initially shows so um, there are a few things to keep in mind here. One is that 5,000 actually represents five seconds. So if you wanted one and a half seconds, you would do 1,500. I recommend a value somewhere between 2,000 and maybe as high as 7,000, which would be you know somewhere between two and seven seconds. Okay, so now let, for the rest of this uh, tutorial, we're gonna put it at 200, which is two tenths of a second. And, and so what, what we'll see is that rolls up, you know, basically immediately after the page loads. Now let's look at these other two settings. The first one is the speed to slide. And you'll notice that lower equals faster. So if we put this at 100 and click update, when we come back and look at the site, you'll notice that it's going to just creep up. Okay, did you see how slow that came up? So it goes down and it goes up. Now, uh, if you change this down to, say, 5, for example, you'll almost not see it, it actually animate. See, it comes up so quick that it almost looks like it's just appearing and disappearing. You know, of course, if you set it to one, it would almost just appear and disappear. So, you know, 25 is a nice number because it does show some animation. And the longer the animation lasts, as long as it's not contrived, um, the, the more attention it's going to get. All right. So you saw how that rolled up, rolls down. And then uh, the final setting is the slide step in percentage. So let's set this to one. And what this means is that how much of the footer is it going to show each time? So watch what happens here. And it'll look as though it's slower, but really what it's doing is it's just moving it more smoothly. So if you want the motion a little smoother, then you might set that to one and, uh, and then, you know, drop this down to five. And what you're going to end up with is a, a, an animation that's, that's much smoother. Now, the only problem with this might be that slower computers would would have a, a harder time displaying each of the steps. So, uh, again, I mean, th those are the ways. Oh, and, and if you you know increase this to you know 25, for example, let's put that back to 25 there. Well, then the the movement of the footer is going to be more choppy, right? So you see, it just moves in a couple of steps rather than than many steps. So those are the animation settings. I think for most people, you'll find that, uh, and, and this is probably your case, that the default settings are going to be just what you want. But if you want more control over how it animates in and when it shows and how much delay, now you know how. Thanks.